The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bonafide. Boner, fide. Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? <laughs> Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones? Uh, they could probably use a little while longer. Ah. Okay. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris... Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to... Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, we're gonna be out partying in the woods tonight, all right? What if the bears try to crash? Okay, it's it's like my mom always said. If you want to party, you got to bring protection. <laughs> well, I think that she was talking about condoms. I'm not going to fuck a bear. The most dangerous thing I've seen in these woods is a pissed off squirrel. That sounds pretty scary. Okay, fine. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. <sighs> Your call, man. Hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so... You're being dramatic. Climb down. Take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it. You climbed down.
What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What? 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 It's nothing. Oh. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Ring -a -ding -a -ding. Oh, sorry, bud. Gotta take this one second. Hello, Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. What can I do for you on this darn tootin' doozy of a day? Is that your impression of Mr. H? Uh, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, I, you're absolutely right. He does need to be nicer to Dylan. And, uh, what's that? You want him to give Dylan his phone number? That's a little forward, but I can see what I can do. Smooth. <laughs> Oh, Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Ailey and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's, you're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine, don't let me regret it. Just can't promise that, but. Nothing but that. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Huh. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow, there's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the cam. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just, Trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from 
super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. It's probably nothing. Huh. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. So, if you do go to school in the fall, have you, like, picked out a major, or...? I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to talk about right now. Oh, have you not decided what you're going to do with your life? Hey, are the phones done yet? Nice. Full up. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. (sighs) 
This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Good choice. Better six this way. Better six. Or whatever. Think we've got enough? Uh, not yet. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves are in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. It's all right. Calm down. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like, the future. Yeah, sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like, let it happen, you know? What? Huh? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? 
I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Yeah. I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. Sure. This view is just... Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah, I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course, I just don't know what. You'll figure it out. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen, there's something there. Oh. 
Just mow me to death. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, little piggy hog. <laughs> At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> Guess we should head back. I finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I, I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick! Just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? Thought you hated that phrase. Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick me up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Where the hell did that gun come right, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma, please hand me the shotgun. What, you gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Okay, as much as I enjoy watching Nick squirm away from a challenge, I don't think this is a great idea. Hey, uh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Maybe I should just, uh... Give Nick the Butter Pops as, like, an act of charity or something. Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on! All right, yeah. guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. So, just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class, <clears throat> third class, three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick, but if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually- Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how was your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was... it was okay. Hey! Atta boy! So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah? Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're gonna do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread, remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay, you're good. All right, Nick, this time for real. Nice shot.
something's wacky. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, okay, dude, not with this freaking cannon dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Peanut butter, butter. Okay, pops. I get it. I get it. Blam. You thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Okay, new idea, party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So like normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can like make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, I... Uh, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um... Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay. Um, uh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding, 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 too late. My turn. Ryan, truth or dare? Truth, I'm an open book. Okay, okay, let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. There we go. What were you doing in his office? Well, I know what you're fishing for, but it's actually 
super boring. If you must know, I needed some life advice. Advice, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, M. Um, okay, I got this. Okay, so uh, if you go to settings, there's an option called incognito mode. And if you press that, no, life advice about school. And that's no fair, I've, I've already answered my question. Maybe we can help. Uh, I don't know, you've all got your own shit going on. Besides, I figured just the mention of the word school would cause Jacob to hemorrhage or something. Whoa, dude, what the hell did I do? All righty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. Caitlin, what do you say, truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, that's kind of a boring question. Got an answer. <laughs> well, the answer is... I don't know. That's the truth. Sorry. So, guess it's my turn. Nope. What? I smell bullshit. Okay, fine. You got me. I wanted to be a street performer. <laughs> <laughs> no way! Well, um... <laughs> a street performer? You mean like, um, <laughs> like... No, asshole. Like a mime or, you know, one of those statue guys that move when you give them a dollar. Caitlin is a mime? Yeah, no, I just can't imagine that. Thanks, Ryan. Well played. Now it's my turn. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... Oh. Nick? Uh. <laughs> well then... Um... Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. M? Seriously? Guys. Guys! Thank you, Nick. He's good. You like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was? It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? What? Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So, then, what more has been found? The Hanged Man. <laughs> to be the Hanged Man is to surrender, and by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. But these are just words. There's more to show you, 
if you'll let me. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again, you can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow.